In this video, we're going to be looking at tropism, which is the response of plants towards a stimulus. And uh, there are two uh, types of tropism that you need to know. Number one is phototropism, which is the response towards light. And the second one is geotropism, which is re response to uh, gravity. So the first one is phototropism here. Now, in a uh, normal situation, this is, let's say, the uh, shoot. Um, in a normal situation, let's say that the shoot is receiving um, the same amount of light in all directions. So from the sides, from the top, um, in all different directions like that. In this particular case, uh, the auxins, which are responsible for uh, uh, conducting tropism, would, uh, would be evenly distributed across the whole different plant. So let's say the blue dots here are the auxins and so they would just evenly distribute across the whole shoot and it would just stimulate growth uh, upwards generally speaking like that so every single cell is growing in the same direction in, on roughly the same rate so it's going up like that so therefore the plant is generally going straight Whereas in the case of, um, in this different case on the right, let's say, for example, that there is um, light only shining onto the plant in one direction. So we call it unilateral light. So it's only shining in from, let's say, the right. So generally speaking, the rule is auxins do not like to be exposed in light. So in this case, rather than having an even distribution of the auxins, all of the auxins would move towards the shaded area. So all the auxins would mainly congregate on this side, on the left hand side where it's shaded, so it's not directly in the light. In this case, because auxins promote the growth of shoots, therefore this side on the left, on the shaded side, is going to grow a lot quicker than the light lit up side. So because of this, the shaded side is going to grow a lot faster than the lit up side. So therefore, this will cause the whole shoot to bend because the left hand side is growing much faster than the right hand side, like this. So the auxins are still not really enjoying the bright light, but then as they grow, they're going to grow this way, like that. So it's going to bend in towards the light source. So this is what we call positive phototropism. This is because it is growing towards the stimulus rather than away from it. That's why it's called positive. So a brief summary in terms of phototropism. So unilateral light causes the auxins to move laterally to the shaded side of the shoot tip. Generally speaking, uh, auxins promote cell elong high concentration of auxins promote cell elongation, so therefore the shaded side would have would grow faster than the lit up side. So the key concept is remember that the lit up side is still going to grow because there are some auxins that might diffuse to that side, but generally speaking, the rate of growth is much higher in the shaded than the lit up side. So therefore the shoot would grow towards light and bends towards light. Now, this particular mechanism has a benefit to it. This is part of how the plants actually evolve to be good at growing. So the idea is that the first thing is it ensures the plant has the maximum rate of photosynthesis because it's trying to grow towards areas which has a lot more light. So shoots would demonstrate positive phototropism. On the other hand, roots demonstrate negative phototropism, meaning that they would grow away from the light. And uh, this is important because, generally speaking, um, the water and minerals which are found in soil would be on the ground and definitely not in the sky or towards the sky where the sun is. So the roots demonstrating negative phototropism means that they are more likely to get what they need in the dark areas where the soil is more likely to be. And actually another um, principle to remember is that auxins promote shoot growth, hence positive phototropism, where, but auxins actually inhibit root growth uh, as the uh, plant is matured. So in some sense, the auxins would again move away from the lit up side, so let's say uh, uh, in the shaded area of the roots, but then because the roots like to have less auxins to grow quicker, so the, the, the lit up side that has less auxins actually grow quicker than the shaded side, so therefore the roots actually bend um, towards the ground instead in the opposite way. 
So actually, um, there's a bit of a link in terms of the roots for um, geotropism and phototropism, but again, it's still about oxygen. So another thing is oxygen's same as any other chemicals obey the laws of gravity. So it's going to fall to the bottom parts of the shoots and the roots if it's turned sideways. So here you can see is, uh, this is basically, you can see uh, it's a plant. It's got the shoot on the right hand side and the roots on the left hand side of the bung or the, or the pot. Um, so it's it's been turned sideways. So this is the this shape of the plant is a result of geotropism. So in the case of uh, the shoot, so remember the oxygens are falling towards the bottom of the shoot rather than the top. So they're near there. Again, oxygens promote shoot growth. So the side, the bottom bit, which has more oxygens, it's going to grow quicker than the top side, which has less oxygens. In this case, this is actually called negative geotropism. So negative geotropism, that high oxygen concentration promotes shoot growth, therefore bottom part grows faster. Whereas in the roots, uh, they would po demonstrate positive geotropism. So same as in the shoots, the oxygens will be found on the bottom part of the, uh, of the root. But because higher oxygen concentration actually inhibits roof growth, they prefer having less oxygen. So therefore, the top part actually grows faster. So therefore, the, the roots actually bend towards the ground, above, um, towards where gravity is, where it's more likely to go and to get the water and mineral ions in the soil. So ultimately, geotropism actually does the same thing as phototropism. It's about the importance of them is to ensure that the roots are always growing downwards, no matter the, the location or like the, the orientation they're in. They're always growing downwards to try to absorb water and mineral ions from the soil where the ground is likely to be. And is always trying to ensure the shoots grow upwards for more light, hence more photosynthesis for growth. So this is geotropism about how oxygens obey the gravity, allowing the plants to have their orientation. And here is phototropism, which is about how, again, same thing, but mostly focusing on the shoots to show positive phototropism, ensuring they're always turning towards where the light source is. So there you have it. This is the two types of tropism that you need to be aware of. One of the easiest way to remember how the different tropism works is by remembering these three points. So the oxygens hate light, but obey gravity. At the same time, they prom at high concentrations, they promote shoot growth and inhibit root growth. Really important to remember is talking about high concentration of oxygens that does these two interactions with the shoot and the root, because at lower concentration, they do something slightly different.